of YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy K Beyond. I'm in the building, and let's talk about Briz versus Moo. You know what I'm saying? Moo let the cat out the bag. You know what I'm saying? Moo said him and Briz is locked in, but he didn't say what league is on. <clears throat> is it on URL? Is it on RBE? Is it on Chrome 23? But that DNA and Smack interview, Smack kind of let it out the bag. Smack kind of let us know that he has the battle book. You know what I'm saying? You heard it here first. Smack has Briz and Mook book. How I know? Because Smack didn't answer the question. He, he deflated the question, you know what I'm saying? So that let me know there's some negotiation going on. Cause if Smack didn't have Briz and Mook book, DNA wouldn't ask the question. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Cause all those questions was actually screened. You know what I'm saying? Smack went over all those questions. So if another league had Briz and Mook book, DNA wouldn't ask the question. So that's how I know Smack has that battle book. So he said just you know, just stay tuned. That's what that was about. So um, Smack is gonna pull a ace out the hat. So, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna drop a big announcement. So since um, Mook and Tay Rock had a battle in October, look for the Briz and Mook battle to be sometime in October. You know what I'm saying? You heard it here first. Smack is going to announce the Mook and Briz battle. You know what I'm saying? It's been locked in. They've been right for each other. You know what I'm saying? Briz been right for years. But my thing is, because I'm not new to battle rap, so like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not off the Briz hype. You know what I'm saying? I'm not running off his hype. You know what I'm saying? Why would Briz want to battle Mook? Like, what can you say to Mook? Mook punched you in the face. His crew beat up your crew. Like, what can you possibly say to Mook on the stage? Why would you want to battle him after what he did to you? You already took an L. So what can you say on the stage to me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you should have just let that battle go, bro. Why would you push it for this battle so badly, bro? Like, why do you want to battle Mook after what he did to you? Ain't nothing you can say on that stage that's gonna give you the W. Cause first of all, you ain't battle rapping four or five years. So I don't even know if you're good. I don't know if you still got your style. I don't know if you're gonna be rusty, ring rust. We don't know these things, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not just gonna say, oh, when Briz is announced, oh, Briz is gonna 30 Mook, or Briz is gonna beat Mook. No, I don't know that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't see a Briz battle in years. Briz ain't battled since, since COVID was not even a thing. That's the last time Briz had a battle, way before the COVID era. And we way out the COVID era, but Briz had a battle since before the COVID era. So why would I think he will come in here to 30 Mook? Or why would I think he's gonna beat Mook? He's not gonna beat Mook. Mook is gonna dog walk that nigga, you know what I'm saying? For even better than me after I beat you up. I punched on you, I ran you out the venue, blackface snuffed you, you know, my crew put hands on you, and years later, you think you're gonna come on this battle rap stage and say something that's gonna make you look, you know what I'm saying? Like the winner? Ain't nothing you could say to Mook on that stage that's gonna make you win the battle. You already lost the battle by battling Mook again. You lost the battle already. You know what I'm saying? There's so much angles he could say to you. You know what I'm saying? Cause he, first of all, he snuffed you and you ain't do nothing back. So, you know what I'm saying? Come on, Briz. You gotta smarten up. You should've took a, a tune-up battle. I ain't even gonna hold you. You should've took a tune-up battle. 
Cause I don't know if you're nice or not. Like I said, I don't know if you're nice no more. You know what I'm saying? All them years off, it could do something to a battle rapper. You know, so don't think you're just gonna come in here and jump back in the game and, and be that great one. If y'all looking for Briz to be great, like how he was in 2017, 2018, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna be in for a rude awakening. Y'all gonna be in for a rude awakening. It's something like a Cassidy. You know what I mean? You see how Cassidy left Battle Rap, then he came back and he was kind of rusty. Briz gonna be the same way. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna be the same way. He's gonna be rusty at this shit. Because instead of him perfecting his craft, he was just focused on Mook the whole time. He was just focused on Mook. I gotta battle Mook. I gotta battle Mook. I gotta, I gotta, you know, the only person I wanna see is Mook. The only person I wanna battle is Mook. While Mook is collecting bags after bags after bags, Briz is still stuck in his feelings, you know what I'm saying? Now, when you get the battle, ain't nothing you can say on that stage that's gonna equal to the action he did to you. So your shit is just gonna be words, but Mook actually physically put hands on you. So ain't no words you could say that's gonna, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna change the outcome of it. So if you think taking this Mook battle was gonna give you the leverage, you know what I'm saying, or the outcome now to, you know, to speak your piece and all that, you're sadly mistaken because Mook got a rap also. Mook got a rap also. You know what I'm saying? We're going to hear Mook side of the thing. Like I said, Mook been battle rapping for years while you was on the sidelines. So Mook is more polished than you at this point. You know what I'm saying? So I cannot put you over Mook as the victor when the battle do get announced. I can't. I mean, I gotta say Mook did it more. Mook was outside more. Mook was active more. You know what I'm saying? You was on the sidelines and your feelings. You in spaces, you arguing with this person, you arguing with that person. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna come back to battle rap unless I battle Mook. After what Mook did to you, bro, you shouldn't even be worried about that, man. You shouldn't be worried about that, man. You should be focused on getting back to where you was at before that incident happened. You know what I'm saying? That was a learning incident. And I see you still didn't learn from it. You know what I mean? You still didn't realize that you was out of pocket that night. That night when Mook put hands on you, Briz, it was your fault, you know what I'm saying? And you never really seen that yet. You never really got to the bottom of it. You grabbed Mook first. You talked about his mother who passed, you no, know, she passed away. You talked about her, but that wasn't an issue. The issue was when you grabbed him. At that point, like everything is out the window. You know what I'm saying? You can't grab him, man. And then you wanna leave the culture. You wanna be mad at everybody else, even though the shit was your fault. The shit was your fault. You grabbed him first. He never touched you. You grabbed him while he was rapping. It wasn't even your turn to rap. It was Mook turn to rap. Mook is rapping and you doing all this stuff, you know, moving side to side, you know, like he was on drugs or something. Like he was on drugs that night. So you got low, you got in their corner, you got in their face while they was rapping and you grabbed Mook, sure. You know what I'm saying? And that's where Mook punched you. He punched you. Everybody started rushing the stage. And you know what I'm saying? And, and that's what happened. It was your fault. Be a man, man up and say, yo, I was out of pocket that night. I shouldn't have touched the man. That, that what it was about. It wasn't about you talking about the man's mother, even though that was out of pocket. He let that slide because the minute you talked about his mother, he could have fired on you because Calico said, what's up, what you want to do? See, you you wouldn't even know that. The minute you talked about Mook's mother, Calico said, yo, he whispered to Mook, yo, Mook, whatever you want to do, I'm with it. Meaning, if you want to fight right now, I'm with it. So Calico and, the, and, and Mook, 
they gave you a pass. They gave you a pass because Calico said, yo, whatever you with, I'm with it. The minute you talked about his mother, Calico look at Mook and say, yo, whatever you want to do, I'm with it. Mook ain't do nothing. They let that go. He sat down on the speakers to get his composure. He sat down on the speakers to get his composure and you brung it back and you brung that back and you said it again. And he let it go again, but it was when you grabbed him, that's when he snuffed you, he had to. It was nothing left after that, you know what I'm saying? So now you wanna battle the man who snuffed you, the man who embarrassed you, the man who punched you out of battle rap. That's who you wanna battle now? Hey, be my guest, man, be my guest. But like I said, I don't see you winning that battle. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be announced in October. Mark my words, y'all. It's your boy KBR. Hit that like, subscribe button for your boy. Till next time, I'm out the building, y'all. Peace.